Yo, what's up guys? It's Killer Luke for the win back with another Clash of Clans video. Today what I have for you guys is the end of my trophy push to champ. Basically, I'm just going to finish it off in this video. And I'm going to be showing just the highlights, man. I don't want to show every single raid. I think that'd get a little bit boring just showing me get 10 trophies on some guy and like utterly no loot besides the loot bonus. So we're going to go ahead and just show the highlights, like I say, of where I actually do get some pretty solid raids as far as loot goes and stuff like that. So hopefully you guys will enjoy that aspect of it. So starting on with, off on this guy, we're going to use the Lava Hound, take out that Air Defense Arch Tower and the Wizard Tower. Uh, I didn't really expect that Tesla there. I didn't really notice that, you know, he had a spot for that. So we're going to try to take him out another way. But first, we're going to kill these Clan Castle troops with the Lightning Spell. So bam, zap, zap, zap. They're goners. And as you can tell, I did, I did update my game from the... Uh, from the from the what's it called the halloween theme i took that away so hopefully you guys enjoyed that that that's gone but you'll notice that they left the skeleton trap in the game which i think is pretty cool but also it's kind of a nuisance and it's kind of annoying to see that thing so much i don't know seems like everybody always arms their skeleton traps and like maxes it out i know i'm working on my traps now i'm just not getting my traps to be almost max so that's pretty nice uh, the max traps, I guess they help out a little bit. They really just cost a bunch of gold, and I don't know. I'm still not a huge fan of them, but I guess traps are okay in this game. I don't really mind them too bad. So as you can see here, uh, this guy did have a bunch of archer towers being upgraded at once, so that was like my main incentive to go for this guy's base, because uh, I don't know why you would upgrade. Like I think it's like four or so of you, like three, four, maybe even five. I think it was four. Four of your archer towers at once, you shouldn't really do that uh, near Champion League. That's not exactly ideal, but I'm not going to complain. I'm going to take it and run with it. So, uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and go for these air defenses mostly because that's what I really have to worry about. And once I get those taken out, I should be able to get a decent amount of loot. Mostly gold, though, is gold was like the most accessible thing in this raid. So... Let's see, we're up to 26%. Going to go ahead and spam some minions on the top. Hopefully they will manage to take out that Tesla because that thing was kind of in the way. Then I'm going to go ahead and draw my heroes here on the bottom right. We're already up to 38% and my Barb King is now going for this guy's queen. Hopefully he'll actually, yes, he does break through the wall and he does kill the queen just before he dies. So that's pretty nice. He actually managed to do something this battle. Uh, luckily for me, my queen didn't start shooting at the wall too. This might have been a fail if she just started doing something ridiculous like that. But she actually is going to go ahead and pick off these buildings and give me up to 50%. I already used her ability, so I can't use it on this gold here. But we're going to go ahead and wait and see how much gold we can get. Looks like we got over half of the gold and over half that was in that storage. So we're going to end with 251k before the bonus. About just under 400k after it, so pretty solid if you ask me. No complaints on that one. Now we're at 3178 trophies. I'm going to go ahead and skip ahead. I did lose on defense and I won as well in defense. I think I also lost on defense. So I'm going to go ahead and show this defensive replay where I actually win. It was pretty nice, pretty freaking nice of this guy. I really do appreciate you sniping my Dark Elixir and giving me a free 26 trophies. He was actually in Champion League. He may or may not have been dropping trophies. I'm not really sure, but he did give me 26 trophies, so I'm pretty happy about that. After that, I got attacked and only got minus one by a champion. And ironically, here, we're at like the same amount of trophies. I think I lost on offense. And then I won again on defense by a Bart strategy. So that was pretty nice. So now we're going to go ahead and go in on this guy, Ed Star. And he is actually inactive, a little bit inactive. He's not in the league. You know, he was in Master 1 league, and he's not in the league. And his base kind of was not good for anti uh anti-air because you notice I only dropped one balloon on these two archer towers on the top and they're literally going to get the job done with just one balloon they managed to take out uh one balloon each they take out an archer tower each they took out two archer towers which was pretty freaking nasty if you ask me it's pretty pretty convenient in my eyes so now I'll go ahead I've got his clan castle troops lured out so I'm going to go ahead and pull them out. Looks like he has a Lava Hound in there, which is pretty surprising. You don't really want a Lava Hound for defense. That's really not going to be too helpful. But I'm going to go ahead and drop a few minions to take that out. And I realize it's going to take forever to take this Lava Hound out. So I didn't want to waste all my minions. I, I went ahead and started attacking from the other side. So right here, <clears throat> this is kind of a fail on my balloons. They didn't go for the air defense. They just went for that mortar and they don't even destroy that. So I'm going to go ahead and disregard that because the balloons and stuff are the, that 
flying pig is in the way anyway. So we're going to go ahead and kind of ignore that for now. And we're going to come in from this right side, take out that Tesla in that Archer Tower. And there's only really one more Tesla that's really in the, or no, one more Archer Tower is what I mean to say, that's in the way here. So I'm going to go ahead and use my Clan Castle troops on that. That should be pretty easy to go from there. And the only thing that's in the way now is that Tesla, that hidden Tesla that popped up out of nowhere and is now doing a bunch of damage to my balloons. And now the balloons are pretty much over with now that they got in range of that air defense. And now I'm going to go ahead and start spamming uh, my minions on the outside of this guy's base. See how much percentage I can actually get. The only thing that I did wrong here, you'll notice I did I did this on this raid and the last raid. I just find these bases that are inactive, <clears throat> and they're so easy that I don't even want to use my Lava Hound on them. I just find it kind of wasteful. But at the same time, like, these guys have so much loot. I kind of, looking back, I kind of wish that I did actually use my Lava Hound <clears throat> because I probably could have got a little bit more loot if I did use the Lava Hound in this raid. So as you can see, the Lava Hound is still not gone. He's still got some Lava Pups hanging out here, flying around that are kind of in the way. We're up to 41% now, so I think I'm good to go ahead and use my Heroes. I think I'm going to go ahead and drop my Heroes in the top left angle. That looks pretty good. Some buildings outside there. Hopefully, they'll be able to kill these Pups pretty quickly. I went ahead and spam my Minions there as well because I figured they would help take out the Lava Pups pretty quickly, which they did. Now up to 46%. Hopefully we can easily get the 50%. It looks like it's going to be easy 50% from here, but it's really down to the wire. We only have a few seconds left, so I'm going to go ahead and drop a lightning spell on the inside of this guy's base. It's going to take out the King's Throne and a um, <clears throat> take out a King's Throne and a Builder's Hut. So that's just a little tip for you guys. Never leave low health buildings like that together. Uh, you'll notice that I do have that on my base, but I end up changing it later with the two... Uh, the two uh, builder sets together they're really easy to take out with just one lightning spell and that's two buildings that could you know make for a win uh, easily that can make for a win or a loss on my part for a win for the enemy or a loss on my part so that's kind of something you want to generally avoid so right here I got a really massive raid uh, 356k gold and almost 300k elixir before the loot bonus and I forgot to record it I don't know why I just didn't record it so I just wanted to show you guys really quickly that that did happen and that was a pretty nice raid so right here I actually found a town hall snipe for eight trophies really freaking nice of this guy to leave his town hall outside thank you Z Rez in master one league you're freaking awesome he's in a clan called the Rez that's a pretty cool name if you ask me and yeah boom we in champion league and that was pretty easy so, <clears throat> I think I actually mixed these raids up. I think I'm going to go ahead. Yeah, I don't think it really matters. But I think I accidentally put that raid there somehow. Somehow my recordings are getting like messed up with this play recorder. So, I think uh, pretty soon, once I get a couple more recordings, I'm just going to go ahead and update my iPhone to iOS 8. And that's when I'll be getting the Elgato. So, I'll be able to record from that. And I'll just kind of wait for a new jailbreak on iOS 8. I know I had a guy from Twitter said that you could actually downgrade to the lower. They made an update on iOS 8. It's like iOS 8.0 or something. And they said, this guy told me that they made an update. Uh, so, you can't jailbreak that. But you can actually downgrade to the regular iOS 8. And you should be able to jailbreak from there. So, I think that I'm going to maybe get that guy to help me out. But just leave a comment. One thing that I think that my channel is really lacking right now that I could really use uh, is an intro or an outro. So I would really appreciate it if you guys could make me an intro and outro. I'm willing to pay five ten dollars. I really don't care if it's a, if it's a nice intro or outro. I prefer both. If you can make me both, I will pay you ten dollars. Like I swear to God, I will pay PayPal to you right now. Uh, so just leave a comment if you can uh, make me a pretty fancy intro and outro. Now, I'm not talking about I'm going to pay $10 for just some run-of-the-mill, you know, just it's my first time making an intro. Cool, I can make a Logan intro, receive $10. No, not going to happen. You have to make me a really fancy intro or outro if you're expecting to get paid. So right here, like, why did I drop the balloons like that and why did I not use my Lava Hound? I don't know. But anyways, yeah, I'm, I'm expecting professional-grade quality for this for these intros and outros. Uh, so I would really appreciate it if you guys, if somebody, somebody, I know I have some sort of uh, editor, developer, entrepreneur, subscriber here. So hopefully you can help me out. Anyways, I'm going to be leaving you guys with some music. Hopefully you guys do enjoy the song. It is called, what is it called? Let me look at iTunes real quick. It's a new song. It's called Get Away with G-Eazy featuring Kalani. Uh, yeah, hopefully you guys will enjoy it. Leave a comment if you do. 
Subscribe if you're new. Hope you guys enjoyed this Run to Champ series, and I'm out. Peace. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Maybe the fact I got a flat is six. Ass to the mystique of what might exist. Lurk your Instagram, tryna like your pics. I know your boyfriend, he probably might get pissed. It's one o'clock, I've drunk all of this. So that's probably why I'm all acting brash. I'm like an addict, I have to smash. I'm always leaving fast, you think I am the flash. Cause she's never catching a man If it don't pan out, I'm a flash in a pan Young Leonardo, try catch if you can We just spent the night, now send her back to her man Maybe some different time Our paths will cross and then we'll drink some wine And we'll fuck and we'll kick it Smoke weed for a minute You'll end up a verse when I think of a line Or when I need a muse on a record just like this one And then when she hears it, she's so amused She think it's her, but it's just fun I mean really now, it ain't just one I mean really now, when I jot this It's just a stream of my consciousness When I touch on these topics I'm thinking about when she's topless Out on vacations, gone in the tropics That was before we broke apart just like chopsticks No, I know our past, it ain't spotless Nah, but we got this Girl slip away and then find her way inside flows Guess I could've took that chance, I suppose But it's like, and that's the way this shit goes She knows Yeah She knows Yeah Kaylani I always wonder about Why you let me go Why you let me walk up on out that door, we just went out for drinks. Drink, 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 then you took me home, walk me to my porch, where you turn me on. That night you told me that you heard it in the background, not just any music. Talking, Mr. Soulchild, said you were scared to come fuck with me. Cause you see, I'm chasing dreams, but that don't mean that I. We fell out of touch And this probably won't amount to much But if we're trying to get back to where it got away I'ma stay, not about to rush All the fights and the bouts and such Your best friend hated, but she doubts a bunch You make the call I know I've been gone for long But rainfall after droughts are lush Shoulda would his always crossed my mind Years passed, cause we lost the time Like a misplaced watch To be straight up like I sip straight scotch Know I crossed the line But what if it seems like the dreams we both chase Conflict with each other's and there won't be no space To make a home now when you know there's no place Like it so we'll always be a part I won't face Real life and that's why I left with no trace Knew I couldn't answer the please don't go face Know your lifestyle's a slow pace I like that but right now I feel like my life's a boat race Yeah, it's sad but we're worlds apart My life is short Maybe I was made the villain, but I'ma save this villain for a song that I might record. Yeah.